Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Today we will see semi averages in odd number. If odd number is given, the previous classes we have done, uh, if it is even number, the calculations I have shown you a graph also semi average graph, how to draw a trend line that I have shown you. Many students are having a doubt, if it is odd number what to do madam, I will show you. Semi average in odd number, okay. So, uh, the problem is here using the following data fit a trend line by using the method of semi average. If you see the data, how many numbers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, odd number. If it is even number, 6 numbers, suppose say, then first step was adding 3, 3 numbers. First 3 adding and taking the average of that. Last 3 adding and average of that last 3. That we have done in the last class. If it is odd number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. What to do? Here remember, you ignore this middle number and take, middle number is this one, no? sorry. Ignore this middle number, take the average of these 3 and average of last 3. This is 7 number. Okay. If it is 9 numbers are given, leave the middle number. First 4 average, last 4 average. This is 7. So, first 3 average, last 3 average will take. Then after that, we can go for the graph. So, here already I have done average of first 3 years. 700 plus 900 plus 1100. 700, 900, 1100 divided by 3. So, you got the average that is 900. Okay. This is important. Where is another marker? Remember, first average of first 3 years. In the same way, last 3 years. 1300, 1600. 1300, 1600. 1600 divided by 3. So, you are getting 1300. These two are important. Just remember it. Average of first three years average of last three years now we'll draw trend line in semi average generally we we will calculate like this first three years or last three years like this average will calculate then after that we'll draw a trend line in semi average average methods there we have moving average methods just we have gone for calculations right now for this drawing this trend line always remember many students are getting confused what to draw on x what to put it on x x axis and y axis x axis always year what is given the first column that will be on the x axis okay so here i have taken years and on the y axis the output next data whatever data is given that should be on the y axis now, how to take the one, one centimeter? Here, first x axis, years are given no, 1996 to 2002. So, 96 to 2002, simply you can put. One centimeter is 1996. Next centimeter is 1997. Like this, we have taken up to 2002 because data is up to 2002. If it is more than that, we would have extended it. Now coming to output, output also how to take this output on the y axis. See the minimum number is here 700, always you have to see the minimum number and maximum number. Minimum is here 700, maximum is 1600. In between that, any class interval you can just take it out. Now I have taken 100 as class interval, starting with 700, no, so 700, 800, 900, 1000, 1100, 1200, 13, 14, 15, 16. Till 16 I have gone because maximum number is 16. Started with 700, taken maximum number of 1600, that's all. Like this, you have to take the class interval on the y-axis. What you have taken? Output. Am I clear? First, what we will do? We'll do actual line will draw first. Then after that, semi-average or trend line will draw. For actual line, uh, first one is here. 1996 it is 700 1996 it is 700 okay 1997 900 97 900 this is actual whatever is given that we are plotting it okay 96 is 700 97 is 900 then 98 is 1100 no? yeah 1100 98 is 1100 
Next 99, 900. 99, 900 means it has come down. And 2000, 1300. 2000, 1300. It is here. 2000. Then 2001, 1000. 2001, 1000. 1000 is here. Next, 2002, 1600. 2000, 1600 means maximum. So, this is actual numbers, whatever is given data. So, actual line you can say. Now, we will just add all this plotting of the numbers. We will add this. You can use scale also. So this you can say actual line. Now what they are asking? Trend line. Trend line we have to draw. How do we draw trend line? So based on the first average and last average. Now for trend line plotting the two numbers 900 and 1300 900 is the average of first three years first three years means 96 97 98 so middle number is 97 97 here we'll take 900 where is 900 it is here only so already we have plotted so once again so i'll show it separately like this first one we have plotted 900 900 in it between these three years no so middle year i have taken 900 in the seven next 1300 is the average of 2000 2001 and 2002 so there in 2001 we have to plot 1300 2001 1300 it is here okay now what we'll do we have to draw the trend line I'll use the scale here for trend line I could have taken another marker double line I am drawing so that it will be easy for you so this is trend line you can extend it also. This is trend line. Am I clear? Simple thing. Only the thing is you have to remember whenever odd number is given, middle number, you leave it. Take the average of first three years, last three years. If it is a nine years, means leave the first number, first to four years, next to four years. Like average, you have to calculate it. Then after that, on x axis, we have taken. Uh, where is the charter point? Ah. So on x axis we have taken years output on the y axis. Okay. Now what we have done? First we have plotted the actual numbers. Actual numbers like this. So this is the actual line we have uh, jointed already. After that trend line means 900 is here we have plotted and 1300 is here. So both when we add it you get the trend line. That's all. Hope it is clear. Want to take a screenshot? Yes you can. In the coming classes, we will see more subjects, more topics. Stay connected. Check out the playlist. Whatever is useful, please use it. And don't forget to share these videos. Practice it very well in advance. And before exams, you have to revise it. Remember this formula. Okay. So take care. Good luck.